It's the semi-finals. First up was France against the formidable Black Ferns. Going into the match, New Zealand had scored 21 tries with just one against. It was quite a task facing the French. Can New Zealand make it to the final three times in a row? Can France make their first ever final? Well, a little switch kick at the start just to upset the uh, French defence. Chased into touch by Edwards and uh, just keeps France uh, on their toes there. Yes, De Villiers not responding there well to that kick, but uh, good territory, good 22 metre line out. New Zealand sticking with a largely unchanged side from their first big game, the opening of the tournament against Canada, so they will have some continuity today. Letitia Sal then with the first throw. France in the lineup, lose the first one against the throw. And away by Emma Jensen, Anna Richards. This is Edwards on the dummy run with the centre Manuel. And this is a superb start. And this Amaria Marsh to score with the opening play of the match. The fullback adds yet another try to her tally. That's her fifth of the tournament and her 11th all time for New Zealand. It was the perfect start, the orthodox move, but brilliantly executed. Be well pleased with New Zealand's start here. Jed Rowlands, early score. Well, it's, uh, it's just what you need, isn't it? At the beginning of a big game, nerves taut. Bit of hesitation by Jensen, looking for the clearance in her own 22. But the power force up front, drive it, set it up again. This time with a Rochelle Martin. Played her first uh, New Zealand representative game 12 seasons ago. Oh, a charge down. This is Bukerma and a chance. She does it. She controlled it well. It was a difficult pickup, or was it? Or was it a knock on? Malcolm yeah, Chang Lang looks to the it. touch judge. From this angle, we didn't see what must have been a little knock on. Cruel moment for Dalila Bukerma. She just had knock to on. gather. It was an awkward bounce after the charge Six down. Six. Unlucky for France. What a let off for New Ball's Zealand. Open. But the pressure's on them here. And it's with Plante who drives through. And they make up very quickly for the earlier mistake. And delight from disappointment only seconds earlier. So, game on, as they say. Sagols, the remarkable Eileen Sagols, 39 young in years. And the mother of three. Two teenage children, if you catch sight you of her, she's passed, wearing number cast, six, an extraordinary uh, figure who has been Hookers, an international Talano, Talano, at both handball 40 it's times. Nice. She has played for France, there she Seconds, is. Please, and Crouching. mother of Crouching children, <laughs> 16, 15 and 12. And she's combined all this that with a normal maternal existence Angus. at home. But her husband, of course, is uh, very much a rugby man and a senior coach in French women's rugby. Oh, another crash ball through by Manuel. Manuel just caught from behind, but the support. Flojer can't do anything, but Rochelle Martin can. Seven black. Rochelle Martin, the vice captain, immediately puts New Zealand back to work and where they want and intend to be. Well, Udiana Manuel has been the supplier for all sorts. Marsh has benefited. This time, a great show and go. Pass from Anna Richards, great line of attack entry and showing great composure here, tries to step, doesn't quite get free and offloads. Good work, Fogere is the benefactor but really made by Manuel in the middle. Her mother, herself uh, an experienced campaigner in this tournament, having played in the 91 World Cup, will be very happy and uh, good morning back to everyone back in New Zealand. Michelle Martin, a far fighter, well she bows the flames of France then. Emma Jensen with the conversion. And New Zealand quickly recapture the lead. The multilingual uh, Malcolm Changling. Untidy ball and uh, France just cannot afford to, to leave it loose like this. Advantage being played. Penalty advantage. Obviously the French player in front of the person who kicked it forward. 
so it's a penalty advantage. No, 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 no. Well, the way New Zealand backs are playing at the moment, it could uh, soon be rewarded. Inside goes Father Palmer. Release, no, no. Big Shannon Willoughby. No real advantage from the offside, and so it will be a penalty way back. Well, there's the French coaches, and uh, Benoit Ostovic will not be happy with his defence, the midfield defence in, in particular, Nigel. Bukerma and Elodie just Capitaine. not making those first up tackles, making Bonjour. life very Bonjour. easy for the New Zealand attackers. Well, New Zealand have dominated this uh, first period of the game. They lead two tries to one, and that actually, there's the statistic. You know, two thirds of the game virtually of possession for New Zealand. And now a chance of three more points from Emma Jensen. Multi-talented uh, sportswoman is Jensen, has represented uh, New Zealand hockey at all levels. Now a key figure in their rugby squad and a great kicker as well. A great strike from Jensen. And New Zealand with free ball. Don't give them free ball to run as they can do. Richards goes wide and eventually to Blackledge. Blackledge with pace steps inside one, two. Finally held by Elodie. Very secure in the ruck. It's with the coddling initially. Now Rusko. France fan across in defence as Manuel comes again, darts away up the middle, beats two. Release, Lashe. Danger time here for France. Might have done better to switch the other way. Back into the pack though. Now they come left with Codling onto the back row. Rusko, Rusko with the big handoff. Codling's inside. Good cover tackle by Melis Bonner. Seven meters out now. Richards, the back row, Martin. This is Richardson. Good tackle by uh, Sals. What's this? Fourth, fifth phase for New Zealand. They've got two to one out wide. Here goes Manuel. Beats one, beats two. Still going, but two meters short. And all the pressure now on that French line. 15 5, New Zealand lead. Will this be another score? Brave defence by France. Again, the line abreast as the big forwards tie the drive. Well countered by France. But they take it wide this time. Emma Jensen goes for glory, perhaps a little selfishly, and Elodie did well. The interception by the French centre. But it's not over yet. It's coming out New Zealand's way again. Though it was Elodie who took it in. Schumann, Schumann. Here's the turnover with Jensen. Now Richards. Edwards. There is the option. Mark called and the scream in defence from fullback Leduff. And that's a very good move and a wonderful kick. In fact, I think she intended to keep it in play, but it, that was a first class clearance from deep in her own 22 by this lady, Christelle Leduff. So Emma Jensen waits at the base of the line at the uh, Waikato school teacher, feeds now to the centre, Exia Edwards. Well, they've been outstanding, the pairing in midfield, Edwards and Manuel. This is the prop, Casey Robertson. Turn for France to feel the pinch, to feel the pressure, up from fullback. What a pick up by Amaria Mark. Superb by the fullback. Cutting inside is Blackledge. And the line is made. And the try is given. And it was, I think, Martin backing up of the winger Blackledge, Rochelle Martin. And that's, I make it her second try. Look at the run in here. Good work by Blackledge. Now watch the support play of Rochelle Martin. And a second try for the big flanker to match her achievement in the last Women's World Cup in Barcelona four years ago. Well, that's world-class play from Mars. The stiff handoff, the great one-handed offload. Good work from her opposite wing, Blackledge, to come over. And the support was there from the back row. 
crucial 10 minutes coming up here at the start of the second half. Can France come back here? Alongside me, Gareth Reese, the, uh, the great Canadian fly half, fullback sometimes, and four World Cups to his credit in the men's game. But here, some great skills from these women in black, the Black Ferns of New Zealand, and uh, here, one of the stars, Amaria Marsh, out wide with uh, Blackledge on that far left wing. They've really uh, outgunned France in the midfield, especially where the one has to say the French defence has been pretty weak at times. But they fought their way back. It looked uh, early on as though they might be completely outclassed, but far from it. A typically French resilience and flair at times. Here's one of the stars, Edwards, in the midfield for New Zealand. Halfway line, Emma Jensen. Now Willoughby. This time Manuel. Off the foot. Big drop forward, Diane. Maliukatai of the Tongan extraction. Here's Jensen again. Lovely halfback pairing here with Anna Richards, the veteran of the piece, but young in legs and young in skills. And here's Martin again. Two tries to her credit, offloading with Rusko. What a back row they've produced today. And Jensen in support. The line's open for the scrum half. And what a start to the second half it is for New Zealand. As in the first half, so within what? Scarcely a minute or two, they have broken through the French defence, wonderful support play, and Emma Jensen, the scrum half, with her first try of the tournament, scoring just as she did four years ago in the World Cup. Well, Melissa Rusko able to offload there. Jensen, a great athlete, didn't need a second chance there, but what a start for Jed Rowland's team. His team talk must have been something because they came out of the gates, played a little bit tighter, a couple of balls hit up, tighter around the fringes, sucking in that French defense. And then once the ball was released, we saw this great interplay, Nigel, between backs and forwards. Jensen was the benefactor here. She waits to take the kick. She was on the end of the offload, but uh, great interplay, okay. backs and forwards, both on offloading the ball, all doing the jobs of rocking and producing the ball, and uh, impressive start to the second half indeed. So the try scorer waits, and there's a smile at last from Jed Rowlands, the uh, Lac Ferns coach, Emma Jensen will wait to take the conversion and it has been one of the characteristics of this world champion team the handling skills the support play have never evident more than in that last build up to the try so france set back on their heels they wait behind their goal line stunned just as they were at the very start of this match with the new zealand try so at the beginning of the second half here's jensen from wide out certainly has the power but wayward on direction again but the way they're scoring tries, it's not a major factor as yet. But who knows? As we mentioned, Jed Rollins, uh, the coach, gave them a clear message to get back into it, take the French out of the game, and they've done that. Rollins himself, no stranger to this level, high-pressure rugby, having coached professionally the Auckland Blues, the Taranaki man, knew exactly what to say to the girls, and Jensen gets on the scoreboard with the first possession of the second half. Well... Anyone who knows New Zealand sport knows that they won't uh, have any mercy and they will continue to try and uh, build up the biggest score they possibly can. But there's a charge down and a chance for De Vrood who can't be unopposed. Surely she passes inside to Sagols and the try is for France. And it's actually the support in the end of De Vrood, the second row forward. Well, she gave it and she got it back again. Again, a blocked kick, but what a run for Corinne de Vroot. It's almost a repeat of what happened in the first half, the no, instant rip riposte. She didn't have the pace here to get over, offloaded it and then got it back quite nicely. But what a response and a much needed response for the French to stay in this game. There's the charge down of Jensen's kick. There's the big second row forward from Lille. I thought she would made it herself inside to Sagols and she just slipped it through to de Vroot. And France come back. The free kick three. Well, I said the first 10 minutes of the second half seemed crucial, and that all oh, that's uh, nothing dangerous, no spear tackled, great pick up by uh, Richards. I was just going to say that the next 10 minutes are crucial as Manuel breaks away. Has anyone got the pace to cover? De Villiers tries hard, so too Sartini, and in fact the effort of the fly half was crucial in the end, forcing the ball out of the hands of Manuel for a throw forward. What relief for France, because I sense the next score could see the floodgates open and France finally 
lose composure and lose heart. Well, I don't think she can quite believe it. She's been so unselfish the whole tournament, providing for everyone else. She's got a chance to go in. She looks to put it down with her left arm, but a great cover tackle from Sartini to knock it out. Set, set, set. Rusko, Juliana Manuel, Edwards, Marsh took it so well. Pirouettes through the first tackle, drives on, pops it over the top. Just on the line, though. Try given. Well, it was a set piece move. Richards the ball backing was up, it was. Anna Richards has been awarded the try, her second of the tournament. Scored against Samoa. And just what France did not need was to concede another one. But they have, and it was wonderful play again. Well, Amiria Marsh again cleaning up. Back to the experienced Richards, who's been hobbling a bit this second half. And that uh, is a huge score indeed. The ball went out wide left. You can see Marsh tracking just inside the ball here. There she gets a poor pass, but takes it with one hand, shows the complete skills, and the one hand offload again over the top. Good support play from the fly half, Anna Richards. And, uh, she will be delighted, and maybe with the knock she's carrying, you can see a bit of a limp there, maybe looking for Coach Jed Rollins to pull her off as this game gets close to decided in terms of result. Well, what a moment for Anna Richards there. Her first uh, World Cup try in the semi-final. And Jensen, no problem from in front of the post. Adds a little bit more pain to France. 32 points to 10. Fullback. Christelle Leduf. Not finding touch. That's a, a punishable offence. It's a kind bounce, isn't it? That's Manuel. Can we snow, please? Immediately, just the result ah, of both, that uh, poor clearance effort gives the initiative straight back to New Zealand. Well, Farrah Palmer's come off the field, and these the girls will be playing for her as well as Anna Richards. Last She's announced she will be retiring. She is the, the leader of this group. Penalty, okay? The uh, lecturer me. from Massey Crunching is uh, hoping this will be her last kick of the can and uh, I think the girls in black have done enough for her to at least see another Angie. World Cup final and they will play the winners of our second semi-final which follows half an hour after this game which is between England and Canada hands away hands away hands away <laughs> you're in the side no 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 easy 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 cat cat from Montpellier, who's, uh, okay. well, it's been a tremendous story, really. She's one of the players no. being disciplined here, but uh, what a servant to the French game she's been. She, like a quarter of the team, are retiring. And the two sisters here, Aline uh, Sagols, I beg your pardon, Clotilde Flaugère and Melis Bonna are sisters in this side. They're both retiring. One wants to commentate, that's Melis, con yeah. con concentrate on contemporary dance. And the other wants to have children, more children. She's got one already, uh, has Flaugère. But uh, it's hard to mix uh, motherhood and uh, full-time rugby, really, which is well, what it amounts to. She's uh, done that by bringing her son Elias uh, yes. to Edmonton here. So, uh, Just two years young. Family affair. So here's a penalty to add uh, more pain. And Emma Jensen, no mistake. Wamini Ateddy on to Rebecca Hull. This is, in fact, Helen Itunu making the most of her chance. And charge on here is by Hayway. And the second row rounds it off in style as they put the game to bed in the best possible way. Our players enjoy running with the ball and we've got some good athletes, particularly in the backs where you've got some big, strong players that can run fast and, you know, they're always going to cause the opposition trouble. Obviously France today was going to be you know, a concern. We, we certainly didn't take them lightly. We had to be on top of our game, but we picked up another level from last week and that's, I think, we'll, we'll go another level again on Sunday.